Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to click subscribe if you want more weekly updates on investment strategies. Presented here is a visual representation of the S&P 500 index. A red line shows the 50-day moving average and a blue line shows the 200-day moving average. These moving averages are widely used by traders and investors, offering insights into potential entry and exit points for market participants. Within the chart, several key observations emerge. Notably, there are established support levels at 4,325 and 4,200, the latter having previously functioned as resistance earlier this year. In contrast, a notable resistance level is evident at 4,600. Furthermore, a potential formation of a head and shoulders pattern is nearing completion. The pattern involves shoulders situated around the 4,500 mark, a central head at 4,630, and a lower level of support at 4,325. The head and shoulders pattern is widely recognized as a bearish indicator. If this pattern continues to unfold, it could signal a forthcoming decline in the index, potentially leading to a retest of the 4,325 support level. A belief in the reliability of these support and resistance levels could suggest the S&P 500 might continue its downward trajectory, possibly reaching the 4,200 support level in the short term. Conversely, a surge in the market's momentum would necessitate surpassing the 4,600 resistance level to sustain the upward trend. Failure to do so could result in the formation of a double-top pattern, which also carries bearish implications. While moving averages lack inherent predictive power, they can influence market behavior if they resonate with a significant number of buyers and sellers. Nonetheless, a drawback of technical analysis lies in its multitude of indicators, often leading to conflicting signals. For instance, an indicator on a candlestick chart might encourage a trade, while a conflicting indicator on a line chart could suggest otherwise. Additionally, Technical analysis primarily looks backward, and as new information enters the market, circumstances can swiftly change. Given these considerations, the depicted chart aligns well with the notion that September might experience heightened volatility. Historical data suggests September's historical performance has been unfavorable for the stock market. Concurrently, optimism about economic growth carries the risk of disappointment if factors like substantial drops in job growth, a deceleration in economic expansion due to continued bank lending constraints, or a weakened consumer stemming from reduced excess savings and renewed student loan payments materialize. While it remains a technical possibility for markets to ascend in September, a prudent approach might involve waiting and observing, avoiding impulsive reactions to short-term market movements. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to click subscribe if you want more weekly updates on investment strategies.